I had something very specific planned that we were going to practice together. And then as I spent my day one-on-one -on -one, um, with several directees, it became obvious to me that we did not need that practice. The practice that we needed together was welcoming prayer. And so that is what we are going to practice here together in the next few minutes. We'll be together for about 10 minutes and then you are welcome to go on your way from there. So I don't intend to keep you for very long. Um, but I want to give you an opportunity to stop in the middle of your day to notice how you are and to settle into the presence of God. And I think that for me anyway, I need permission to do that very thing right now. It feels like things are happening so quickly around me that I am compelled to stay joined in. And so I just want to give us all permission to step away from the constant news cycle right now. Step away from the latest thing that has shifted or changed in your expectations and move forward in just being present. So with that in mind, I'd like you to begin with a really deep breath. Maybe the deepest one you've had all day. One more time. Our practice today is welcoming prayer and it's practiced in three steps. Step one is to name what you are feeling in a moment. In an experience such as the uh, outbreak right now surrounding our communities, um, I think there are a lot of big feelings that are floating around. I think there is fear. I think there is grief. I think there is um, anger. And all of these are appropriate. And so I want to give you a moment. Name what you are feeling. Take a deep breath. Work to think about, yes, I use the word think on purpose. What are the emotions you are experiencing right now? If it helps you, here are the six basic human emotions, and you can use them kind of like a fill in the blank. Mad, sad, glad, afraid, guilt, shame. And so as we breathe for another minute or so, ask yourself, am I feeling mad? Mm, yes or no. Am I feeling sad? Yes or no. And move through the list. We'll breathe here together for about a minute. When you've identified a primary feeling, you might be having a lot of feelings all at one time, that's okay. Choose just one. Ask yourself, where is that feeling in my body? So I identify that I am feeling fear and I can feel it in the tightening or in my neck and throat. It feels like it's closing in a little bit. Focus in on that sensation. Just notice what it is. And then step three of welcoming prayer is to continue to repeat, welcome fear or anger or sadness. You are in the presence of God. And we continue to pray in this way, repeating that phrase over and over until the physical sensation shifts 
or changes in some way. This is not an exercise to convince yourself to stop feeling or that what you're feeling is wrong. Instead, this is an exercise to allow us to increase our emotional intelligence and to bring it with us in the God's presence. So for the next few moments, my prayer will be, welcome fear, you are in the presence of God. And as I continue to pray in this way, I'm noticing how does the feeling in my throat or my neck change? We'll rest here together again for another minute. One thing I noticed as I prayed, welcome fear, you are in the presence of God, was that the sensation shifted from my neck or throat area into my shoulders and I started feeling tension in both of my shoulders. Well, that's a shift. So that's what I was waiting for. If you have longer to sit with this kind of practice, then now you are invited to say, is the feeling the same? Is the feeling different? For me, it's still fear, and now fear has taken up residence in my shoulders. And I'm going to pray with that phrase again Welcome, fear. You are in the presence of God. It was in the second repetition of the prayer that I felt the fear let go, dissipate. Doesn't mean I won't feel it again in just a few moments, but it does mean that for right now, my emotional state has shifted into one of feeling more calm. Because here's the truth, no feeling will last forever. So allow a feeling to be what it will. It's like a wave, it will peak, and then it will drop. And if we can embrace what's happening as it does, acknowledge it for what it is, and then let it go when it's done. I think this is a good practice. You can use it anytime, anywhere. It can last as short a time as 45 seconds and as long a time as several minutes. But I hope it's a tool that's helpful to you especially in this season of uncertainty that we find ourselves in.